Hey folks, this is Kent, k and Outdoors 2021, baby. We made it through the, the COVID 2020 year. Um, <clears throat> last video we shot was, uh, I think, a deer hunting video. Fast forward up 2021, first video of the year. Um, my second favorite thing to do, fishing. Um, I'm going to do a how-to, like a, a clean video of catfish. I'm sure all y'all know how to do it. I mean, it's it's something that's everybody does you know but just a little video of how I do it um, <clears throat> fillet knife the cheap old Walmart this is one of the older ones it's actually a good one <clears throat> whetstone be sure to get your knife sharp because uh, catfish has got some tough skin but here's the video thank you all Uh, here's the video. Uh, we went to a local pay lake here around the house. We've been fishing a little bit here and there, but uh, something sparked my mind last night and said, hey, let's do a, a clean video. But this is a channel catfish, form race catfish, whatnot. Um, what I usually have set out or whatever when I do my thing is... Uh, cutting board, I think this was a Wally World one, a plate, paper towels, I've got uh, a bowl of water and a strainer, old trusty fillet knife, boy it's been a dandy, it's one of the cheap Walmart ones but it's a good one, whetstone, whatever, but sorry about the lighting, uh, usually we film out in the cave but it's cluttered up from all the winter hunting stuff and processing deer and you know all of that whatnot. Um, something I was wanting to mention though, uh, we finally invested in a vacuum sealer. I, I think it's the correct term for it. Uh, like I said, we do a lot of wild game deer and whatnot. Um, but if y'all are interested in seeing a video on it, I mean we might shoot a video vacuum sealing these catfish uh, some tips and techniques that we've learned to really help us out along the way um, but I'm just going to show you how I do it it's by no means the the probably correct way to do it but you know uh, graphic warning guys I mean if you do not want to see something get butchered cut up stop the video now because it's going to happen and for the ones that stayed I guess you want to see it and here we go um, I'm going to do it different on both sides to show you, you know, two different ways to do it. I mean, it's the same way to do it, but there's two different, like, I guess, entry points, whatever. Uh, my preferred method is I'll lay it on its side, like such. Uh, start back here at its tail. Go down to the bone. Turn your knife at a 45 and press down on the knife. So it's laying against that backbone and just keep working your way up good smooth cuts on it and you'll know when to stop guys because you'll feel that rib cage right there stop at that rib cage uh, I flip it up I continue to follow up its back up its backbone around the fin he still got the dime twitches to him uh, just cut around and this is what, and for the life of me, I don't know why, but this part here is what they call the back strap of a catfish. No idea why I just saw it on YouTube. Might not even be the correct term. But when you get to there, like I said, uh, just keep following the, uh, the rib cage down. Um, don't press, just put your knife on the ribs and kind of grab the meat with this hand and kind of peel it out. And he'll slide right off that bone. I usually come around the back straps, tenderloins, whatever, and I'll make like a circle cut. That way I can get in and get all that meat off. You probably can't really tell on the video but this is 
I mean, by no means, it's not, oh my God, a monster catfish, you know. It was four pound fish. I mean, you see, that's probably a 12 inch fillet knife. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good chunk of meat, you know. Uh, just lay this out of the way. Now, like I said, I was gonna do this one a little different. Uh, you can start here and just when you feel that backbone. Now, right, right at that fin, you're going to have to to go around the fin some because it's it's got a bone sticking out. But you just make a cut down like that, flip it over, same thing. Go to the, until the, you feel the bone. Go 45. And like when when you're doing this. You, you'll feel your fillet knife. You'll feel it kind of twerk a little. That's the reason you use a fillet knife, obviously. But uh, like I said, get down to that bone. You'll feel the bone. Keep your knife pushed down and just keep a hammering up through here. Feel the rib cage stop. Flip him up on his top. Like I said, this side here, it, it's probably going to look a little awkward because I'm I'm cutting it at an angle that's not natural to me. Just follow those ribs, guys. Like I said, the ribs are they're they're a guide for you. You. Just, what I do is I just use the tip of my knife when you get past the ribs just make you a cut and that's it you see I mean you can you can see through it there's no meat left <clears throat> keep a bucket throw the junk in Wipe your station down good. Uh, on this part, when you actually <clears throat> when you actually fillet the skin off of the meat, go ahead and keep your wet right there. I promise you, <clears throat> you'll want a sharp knife for that. Get me another paper towel here, clean off. All right, what to do now is with your fillet off of the carcass, lay it down close to the edge of your cutting board so you can hold your knife at the edge and just go through it. Now what you want to do is come back here so you can get you a bite on it. Go down to the skin, cut it at a 45. Same way as filleting it off, keep it pushed down against your cutting board in the skin and just work your way up. Now with these bigger fish, it's a little bit tougher to do because the fillets are so wide. <clears throat> And if you use a six inch knife on these, it's impossible to do. But what you're wanting is, uh, you're wanting that right there, guys. That is no meat on the skin. That keeps you from having to take the pliers and pull it off. And I'm telling you, they can be a pain. Now on this one, like this, this piece is here. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'll, Get me a set of needle nose pliers and pull that off. You do not want to eat this stuff. And like I said, that that was about as clean as I could get it. I mean, my knife, it was just, you know, every time I go to cut, it would come out a little. But that, that's what that is. <coughs> All right, like on this 
here are these little pieces of skin like I said you know it's just uh, get you a set of needle nose pliers just reach in there and uh, usually that skin will pull off fairly easy you know it's not bad at all just reach in there and get up and under it so you can get your hold on it these pliers I like that, I went a little deep and got some meat on it, but, you know. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, on a piece this size, what we're going to do is, what do you think, Marissa? Split it and then cut it? Yeah. So we'll just go right down the middle with it. Give it a once over like that. I said important and I mean you ain't got to sit here and get a perfect edge on it just hit it a time or two till you till you get your edge back on it bring it to the edge of your cutting board lay it out down to the skin go 45 hold your skin good and tight and just work your way down that fillet <coughs> It should be just paper thin when you get done with it, guys. See, on that one I did a little better job. Knife was probably a little sharper or whatnot. Or still, you know, like this right here. There you have it, guys. <clears throat> that is a, I'm not going to say perfect, but a boneless fillet, skinless fillet, without using the pliers to rip the hide off of, you know, you just use it when you get in trouble with it. Uh, like I said, again, we're just going to go right down the center of it. So that's pretty well eight good sized chunks or feed two people out of a four pound channel cat. Uh, be sure to go down hit the subscribe button if you haven't already guys. Comment, like, share, uh, just let us know how you like the videos. Uh, hopefully this year we'll be doing some videos, maybe some catch and cook. Um, you never know what the future holds in store for us. Thank you all guys and God bless you.